Hey, Gavin here with another episode of the One Minute Blog. Today, gonna be talking about resistance to oneness, like what that looks like, how to be aware of it, and really the big thing that I'm gonna go through is how to know that you're progressing through it, how to know that like you're making progress um, and that your resistance is getting less and less. I really feel like it's important on this journey to kind of see you know, that the efforts are um, being rewarded, you could say, or working. And I feel like it's so easy to get discouraged and feel like we're not making any headway. So if you, you can really be clear on the headway that's being made and what that looks like and how to know it, I think it can be really helpful. So if you haven't been here before, you know, I'm sharing uh, this, my journey to oneness, right? And I, I, if you're watching this, you probably know we all are one, we're all connected to God, we're awakened, we're enlightened, yet we may not be having the experience of that or um, just partial experiences of that, just tidbits, right? And we know there's much more. We know that something seems to be missing and that we want to experience the truth of who we really are. Another way to describe it is self-realization. And so, you know, it's more of this undoing. It's more of dissolving the layers that we believe are there that aren't, right? So in sharing my, you know, experiences, not coming from ego, but just um, I've been guided that, you know, I think you'll be able to relate I think as I share some of my stories, you will be able to, you know, have that go towards your stories and, and really get some clarity towards, you know, your journey on this path and what it can look like. So here's the thing, resistance to oneness. What does that first look like? Well, a lot of times it looks like fear. A lot of times it looks like feeling like we're progressing to only slide back and be like, gosh, we feel like we're in the same situation over and over, that we're not, you know, ascending, we're not going to different levels, that we seem like, uh, it feels like it's the same old, same old, and we find ourselves in the same situation over and over, and that gets extremely frustrating, right? And so that, you know, I'll share some things that have come up for me lately. My, we all have different things that we are um, being, guided and, and experiences of our life that we believe are real, our stories and that illusion. But I do fully believe and see that all of it is actually taking us back to God, taking us back to truth and who we really are. Yet it feels so real and it feels like we're victims that we don't have control and that it's not helping and we're tired of it. And we just want to go home, right? And I have felt that way. Yet the events that are happening in our life are all part of the awakening, are all part of the remembering. And it's our job in, in, to become aware of that and see it and learn from it and, and really get that progression. So you know, people struggle with relationships. They struggle with, you know, money. They were st struggle with like their purpose in life, their jobs, um, their health, right? There's a lot of different ways we all struggle, which is all just signs of the separation. It's all signs that, um, you know, duality, that we are believing in this illusion because none of it's true. If we're, if we're having illness, something's not right. If we're not feeling happy, something's not right. If we're not feeling fulfilled in however we're spending this time on this planet, then something's not right, okay? And I, it took me a long time, and I'm still learning this, to realize like it's all purposeful. Number one, we have to understand it's our creation. We're doing this to ourselves. Okay, which is a really tough pill to swallow because we're like, why would we ever do this to ourselves? And, and then the next you know, stage of it is to start having that awareness of like the patterns, of the beliefs, of the thoughts, and how that keeps showing up in our life. If, if you don't have that awareness, then you know, you're not going to really to be or do anything different about it, and you're not going to be able to learn from it. And then from there, you know, there's a stage of like really letting go and transcending it and, and leaving it behind. All right. So 
that leads me to where I'm at in, in my story. My, my kind of thing in this world is I've started the one mint knowing that I want to teach oneness. I want to experience oneness and, uh, and, and yet I, with my job, with my career, I feel stuck. I feel limited. <clears throat> it feels like pressure. A lot of fear comes up. And what I've, I've come to learn is like, this is, you know, the way out is through this stuff that I'm experiencing with my job. And if you have watched any of my, my other videos, there's this extreme amount of frustration that I keep finding myself in the exact same situation, like over and over and over and over, right? And once again, here I am. I've realized I have some issues with authority, like with bosses and being told what to do, yet I've manifested, I've created, I found myself in this position where it's, it's this, you know, so many aspects of the job are exactly what I'd want. You know, I have autonomy. It can be, you know, good money. I get to like be myself. I get to like do it the way I would want to. I, I'm in sales and I get like leads provided to me. And what's happened, and this is what I was talking about, the ascension and the progression, is that like we as spiritual students, we as remembering, we as letting go and surrendering and dissolving those illusions, that we, we make a little headway and then we think, oh, we've got this figured out, right? And so a few weeks ago, I was in a bad place. I did a lot of work and then I did this detachment. I did, uh, you know, I just really surrendered to the situation. It was like, I'm gonna go into each appointment with like looking at them as divinity, to have no attachment, to see how I can be of service. And like that next week, I, it was like, I think five out of the six people I met with like proceeded to do business with me. And so, you know, then immediately, it's not just kind of like, oh, you know, like um, my ego took over. I was like, oh, look, you've got it. It worked. All is well. You can kind of like go back to your normal thinking, right? And then the next week, I, I was okay, but not nearly as good. And then the last week, I mean, it I feels like every appointment is just crap. I'm not going to go into the details of it. It'll, it would sound very judgmental but it's been extremely difficult. And so what happens? What happens when life's not going the way that you would want? What the old self would do, what my ego self, what my smaller self would do, would start blaming. Oh, my manager doesn't like me. Oh, this is his way of secretly getting me out of here. Um, just give me bad appointments instead of just telling me. Oh my gosh, I have to drive farther than other people. Oh my gosh, like just victim after victim after victim of like, and just stories. I don't know. Like I, I have no idea, you know, but, but my ego wants to think I have it figured out, wants to think that life is against me, that my manager is against me. And listen, in my jobs, <clears throat> this has happened over and over and over. And I want to stop real quick, going back to you. How is what's happening over and over to you? What's that look like in your life, in relationships, in your health, in your job, with money? And so how to break this, this cycle, which like I am so committed to doing. And if you're here, you are too, right? Is that what I feel like I'm being taught, why I'm in a situation again, is like that I haven't learned to truly let go. I am still stuck on needing a result. I'm stuck on it needing to be a certain way. I go on an appointment, I'm there to sell it, I'm there to make money, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. That's a very limiting belief. Therefore, when I don't get the result that I want, I'm unhappy and I start pointing fingers because it's I can't look at me. I can't look at like, you know, what I Okay, this is perfect, all right? This is exactly what I was gonna talk about with my job, yet it happened as I'm doing this video. So I'm just gonna go with it in the moment and use this as the explanation, possibly come back on the job. So I've been working a lot the last two weeks. Usually I have a lot of free time and I can do these videos, which is one of the things that like, I was like, oh, this is you know great about this job. And then out of nowhere, I started getting double the amount of appointments. I started having to drive farther and there was no time to do these videos, which I resented. I did not like, right? Was working through that. 
finally, I have a day to where it's only one appointment. It's very far away, a whole other thing. Like I had a victim pouting session last night, like, oh my gosh, but my wife's a saint. Anyway, I was like, I've got the morning. So I get up, I do my practices, I meditate. I'm like, okay, I know exactly what I wanna go through today. And all of a sudden I hear my neighbors, like the lawn people get there and the mowing and the blowing. And so I'm like, okay, you know, and so I, I read and I got in a good space and I was like a little irritated, but you know, I wasn't gonna let it get to me, you know, that much. And, and so then I started, I, like, I finally it's gone for like 10 minutes. I'm like, okay, they're gone. And then, boom, I heard it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really close, like the mower and the blower. And I'm like, it's our people. And I don't know if you can see it in my face. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that edit you know, in there. But I was just like immediately so frustrated. Like in a, going from a place of like, you know, in a decent place, feeling all as well in the moment, you know, getting to do this video with you to like, I mean, I could just feel this rage coming up. And I was like, what? the hell because the our our people always come in the afternoon i don't know what day it is but they always come in the afternoon they never come in the morning and then i'm like like this is what started happening in my head see if you can relate i'm like are you serious this always happens like why can't i just get you know 20 minutes to do this video why does there always have to be some crap going on and something happened that doesn't go according to plan and I mean, I was, I, I've spent the last 20, 30 minutes while they were still there. Just, I mean, I was seething and I was like, this is so frustrating. Like, why can't it just go the way it should? And what this whole video is going to be about is that like in my job, like that's the thing I'm attached to it going a certain way. And then I think my happiness is contingent upon that that there is no like balance. It's either this way or I'm not happy. So, you know, one of the things that I'm, I'm realizing and got to experience right here in this moment with you all is that, you know, the, this path to oneness, this resistance to oneness is like, this is kind of what it looks like, is like we think it should be this like certain path the certain way, the certain teaching. Like if I meditate or if I'm in a good space, everything should go like perfectly, right? And then like the, the resistance, which oneness is teaching us of like the areas that we still need to learn from, to grow, to overcome, to let go, uh, like dissolve, to release, to surrender to, right? And, in that, and that's a blessing, that's a huge blessing, is like you think you're good, but what about this? What about this? What about this? And then the resistance is, is like, no, no, stop, stop. Like, I thought I was good. I'm not like, turn it off. Like, okay, okay, I see. I mean, this past week for me has been one shit show after another, okay? Just crazy appointments, bullet holes in doors, gun on the table. I said I wasn't gonna say it, but there, you know, it's like, what? Like never in my career. And then, just so many other things that have happened. You know, there's a nail in a tire, the same tire from two weeks ago, but this time I had to replace the tire because it was on the side of it. And I mean, I can, there's a long, long list, right? And I am starting to understand the blessing, right? That like, I want to f know truth no matter what, which means I want to, you know, what the world would say, maybe enlightened or awakened that like I can just observe and I can be at peace and I can be at happiness regardless of what my eyes think are happening or what like my ego wants to say is happening. That I can just be the observer, that I can be in the moment, that I can, you know, let go of these things. And I'm being shown over and over and over, which at times it does feel kind of cruel. I'm like getting smacked so hard right now. And one of the lessons is kind of like, just keep going, keep learning. And it's not like, you know, there's times that like, I feel like a victim, like, oh, the universe is being too hard on me or God's being too hard on me. I like just see it and say that is like kind of laughable, right? But it's like, why does it have to be so hard? And on the other side of it, my higher self and like meditations and just re receiving and, and like, whether it's books or like just thoughts is that, like this is what you're calling forth, Gavin, because 
this is how you get to work through it. This is how you get to develop the habit of, of like letting go and not letting these things, you know, bother you. And, um, and that's kind of the, where I was going with this is like the how to know that you are making progress is that the things that have always happened when they happen, it doesn't bother you so much. I've got a long way to go, right? So just, you know, this I, that's my, I'm frustrated with that, that I see that, but I still have come a long way because over the last couple of weeks with some of the appointments, I've, I've, I've actually had, I've been upset, I've had anger, I've had these emotions, I'm allowing that to be, like I'm not just trying to deny it, but then I'm able to shift back quicker. I'm able to go back to, to peace and to let it go. And sometimes minutes, sometimes hours it might take me a day. But before, like I, it, some of the stuff would have set me off for like months, year, like just like help, oh, it's not working. I'm going back to just like ignoring. I'm going back to not dealing with this stuff. I'm gonna go back and try to chase the world through success and through doing, and um, because this other thing isn't working. And so I want to point out to you that you you know really pay attention to how you react to things, to what's happening, how you're feeling. And when you see those same cycles, it's okay to be frustrated. I'm frustrated. Yet, I do see the progress. I do see that there are things that used to happen that don't trigger me at all, that I can look at them and laugh. I used to be the biggest road rage person ever. Now when people, and I used to cut people off all the time, sorry, I just, transparency, I would just, you know, go, I'd be that person that gets in at the end, right at the exit ramp. And now like, you know, karma wise, that happens to me all the time. And for years it really pissed me off, even though it's the exact same thing that I did. My wife likes to point that out to me, which, you know, is another trigger. Anyway, I now drive a lot and, I, and people do the crazy stuff and I'm just like, you know, kind of like that guy, that dad in Ferris Bueller's day off when he's racing him home and Ferris goes over his car and he just like points at him like, oh, no big deal. Didn't notice it was his son. Now I'm like, whatever. Like, hey, come in. You're getting in at the last minute. No big deal. I don't have the judgment around it. It doesn't have this charge, right? It's progress. I realize that. I'm noticing that. Yet my gift is this job, right? because there is so much garbage and trauma and fear and like just stuff to be dealt with. And I, I know I'm dealing with it at an accelerated rate when it's like boom, 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 boom. It's like my higher self is like, oh, we know you wanna get through this. Here you go, laying it out for you and um, get through it. Deal with it, be okay. Can you, when you get a shit sandwich, Gavin, can you laugh at it and be okay? And go back to like the moment, go back to oneness, go back to the knowing and the peace and the joy, knowing you don't need that result or anything. It doesn't matter how far you drive. It doesn't matter if they say yes or no. It doesn't matter if you think your boss has it out for you or any of the stories that we make up, right? Is can you, can we, really be okay with whatever shows up. And as we do that, that's where the healing takes place because there's not, it's, it's let go, it's in the past. It's like this new ascension of this new vibration at this new frequency. Like we don't need to have these things happen anymore to have that growth, to work through, that we can just be in the joy more and more, right? I wanted to read you something, I put this over here. Um, and what I was reading this morning, you know, really hit home. And this is like, um, this is a book I'm reading. It's called A Journey to Oneness. It's a follow-up to um, just called Oneness by Rasha. And it's, it's a great book and I recommend, but this is like her spiritual awakening experience. And it's a, it's a long book. Um, but essentially, I thought I had it ready to go. Um, she, you know, is on this journey and like all the same stuff that I'm sharing with you kind of like, you know, going through and I highly recommend the book. But, you know, here's one of the things, you know, this is one to say, and then why are you disturbed by it? 
their assessment, like another person from your perspective is flawed for whatever reasons, let that be the other person, let that be okay with you. You do not require their approval. You are fine. Oh my gosh, now my, my battery, <laughs> it's low battery. Um, focus on your responses, be present, fully present in the loving space of your own infinite compassion, right? See every moment as an opportunity to reflect back upon the screen of the awareness of others, the truth that you are able to see about them. This is so A Course in Miracles stuff. The truth of their innate divinity. That is how to truly make a difference in the world and shift the circumstances which play out the discordant themes that are all around you. These are all simply illusions. These are reflections of the belief systems of the beings in question. That is all. You are here with the capability to see through those masks and to reinforce the truth of the divine essence that glows from within the depths of even the most insidious of those disguises. It is to that divinity that you wish to respond, not the false image that reflects fear and conditioning. That is how to help change the world. One smile, one gesture of kindness at a time. It is this upon which you will focus for the remainder of your time here. Observe what is really happening here and you will recognize that miracles, real miracles, are not only possible, they are inevitable. When you see and acknowledge the divinity in other beings, they begin to be able to experience that within themselves. It is this seed that you have come to plant within the consciousness of those who will be drawn to you. You will demonstrate with loving kindness the response to other beings that you would want reflected back upon yourself, and that will be the result. That's it. Like, I, we're going out into the world making it about something outside of ourselves. And when I go out into the world, I don't, I don't want to care about what anybody else thinks or what they do or what they think of me. I want to see the divinity in them. I want to, to know the truth of who they really are. And I know when doing that, I'm reflecting back what I see in myself and who I believe, you know, who I am and who we are, right? And so all of these things that we think are happening, that we believe, these stories, this illusion of separation, it's all the possibility and reminder to wake up. Like every time, boom, it's a slap when the battery, the, the lawnmower, the long appointment, the crap appointment, like the story around bosses and authority figures. It's all that chance to wake up, wake up, wake up. It doesn't matter. It's not who you are. And in this moment, you can come back to oneness, come back to truth, come back to God and feel that peace and joy and that there's nothing out there that is causing you to feel the way you are except the beliefs about what we think is real, okay? So I am beyond committed to have the experience of this, to have the knowing of this and to work through it. And I'm starting to have gratitude when I'm given those opportunities because that's what it is. It's like, you say you want this, we are gonna show you you know, all the reasons why that you're not experiencing this because you're making those, this nothingness, a big deal. And you're thinking like one thing leads to another. If I don't get that, I won't have the money and all this fears. And that's where all this resistance, we have to look at the resistance of this growth, of this process, of this ascension and dive into it. Be willing of and knowing what's on the other side is what's waiting for us is what we've been looking for. And it's actually right here, right now. And we give that out to whatever we come across, whatever we're seeing on this world, whoever we you know, cross paths with, we see the divinity in them, right? And we're gonna be provided opportunities where it seems like the opposite of that. And it seems frustrating and it seems like it's never ending and be patient. We've got to be patient. I'm trying to be patient with myself, very judgmental on myself, very like that's the kind of the phase I'm at is like, I feel like I'm, you know, making progress. I feel like think I'm getting stuff. I feel like I'm understanding. I feel like I'm having the awareness and then, you know, I'll just get this 
I don't know, karma slap that it's like, and I spiritually, I've realized recently, like I resented that, that like I was mad at it and like, come on, I thought I was farther along. And that's my point to you is we are farther along. We are progressing. And to notice that, to, to, to see that the reactions are less, the fear is less, the anger is less, but there's still wonderful opportunities that we can be grateful for to work through, to forgive, as A Course in Miracles would say, to surrender to, to let go to. And that our job is to be stay within, to be still, to find that connection of oneness, of God, of love, and over and over and over to come from that to the best level we can, to the best feeling of, of connection we can to that um, all throughout the day, all throughout the moment, all right? And this is what it looks like. So hopefully this was helpful, a little embarrassed, like, you know, that's the other thing. It's like, it's not necessarily fun to like, you know, I can tell my ego is kind of like, oh, I'd, you'd rather just share about it, like tell and teach people about it than to ever acknowledge that you struggle with it. And I know that's why I'm doing these vlogs is like, I mean, this is what it looks like. You, you, I'm sure there's things I say that trigger you, right? Perfect. Um, Gavin just talks about himself a lot. You know, like, look at, look at that. I have a lot of people I learn from. There's times I'm like, oh, I'm good. And then there's times I like start judging them, right? So all of it is something to be aware of. And if we're not in a feeling of peace, we're not in our right mind. And we get to choose. That's the choice to come back to it and that memory and that knowing. So I could go on and on. Thank you for watching. Um, love to hear from you. So hopefully, hey, I also sell t-shirts. Um, you can go to the one mint.com and you can see what I have on there. This is, everything is going to be okay. And I remind myself and other people, kids, our family all the time, um, cause this world can seem crazy. It can seem absolutely crazy. And that is just us being stuck in a matrix that we think is real and we've forgotten. Let's wake up. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.